What's going on, you degenerate bitches? This is the Baby Fish coming at you with a quick first look, not even a review. Well, you can call it well, not even a review. First look on the Aquitas. Aquitas RDA. And we're going to take a first look on it, show you what comes in the package. And I'm going to build it with a bitch build. And I'm going to bape it. I'm going to pape it. I'm going to pape it. And it's, it's, I mean, the Aquitas RDA by Ambitious Vapor. Um, and hell babe, Derek built this one, they, this, he designed that one. So let's take a quick dive down to see, you know, what the fuck comes in the box and then we'll build it and, 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 well, I'm just going to show you the quick, you know, build on it. I already built it. You see it right here. And I'm like, okay, I'll pape it, man. <laughs> Woo! Cloud in this bitch. That's what I'm talking about. See you down below. Hey, this is the up and close at the Aquitia RDA. And um, I'm going to show you. I like the box. I like the Hell Bay uh, box presentation. I do like it. I mean, it's a simple square rectangular cardboard box. But, you know, it has a nice presentation, colors and shit on it. So I like that shit. So here it is. Let's open it up. Sorry about my fucking video. I don't have money to spend on fucking cameras. I already spent on babe shit. Yeah. Just some instructions how to fucking build it. Uh, you know, how to flip the barrel and shit. Shit like that. I mean, but if you're watching the reviewers, you're watching their shit, you know, you, you'll know what the hell to do. Um, so it just, I, I got the gold because, because of the theme. I mean, I didn't want the black because I got a lot of black shit. I wanted the stainless steel or the gold, but for the theme of the Aquarius, Aquarius, whatever the fuck it is, I prefer the gold. Um, here is one thing. I mean, everybody is using fucking Altum. I think with this color, an Altum cap uh, or an Altum drift tip would have been nice. This one more or less goes with it. It just looks okay. I mean, I like it. It's not bad, but I would have preferred an Altum one because of the gold. Um, so here's the RDA with the, you know, drip tip, the box, and the box has the goodie box inside. Yeah, fuck, my angles are all fucked up, but yeah, you know, you get, you get the drift, you know. The RDA, the RDA, and it has a bunch of shit in here because it's a pretty nice big box. So let's check it out, let's check it out. Yeah, I got a bunch of shit in here. Well, we got a flathead screwdriver. Nice little flat, not the blue little shit, this is a nicer one. Two Allen keys, one for the squamp pin, one for the screws, I think. Um, and then you got a 510 adapter, 510 adapter, another Derlin drip tip, O-rings, spare screws, and your squonk pin. Everything is in here. Everything you need, I mean, all RDAs nowadays, they're coming with squonk, squonk pins and fighting adapters, you know, all the shit that you need to enjoy an RDA in multiple, multiple configurations. So, there's the little box. Let's put it back in here. I'm not gonna squonk with this RDA. This RDA is gonna be specifically for dripping. Um, I like how it says Aquitas, Aquitas RDA, right there. And I like a little rosemary, the rosemary around the rim. It looks, it's a nice, elegant touch to the RDA. I really like the rosemary on the top. I really do enjoy it. Um, let me take off the cap. This is just a top cap. There's no airflow control on this one. It's nicely domed, so you know you're going to get a little bit of good flavor there. Single O-ring. Um... Then you see the barrel there, and you see that little rim, that little rim around it. That's where the uh, air cap, or well, not the top cap sits on it. And it has two notches there. The two notches there is when you flip it, it'll lock up with the bottom notch. You got my tender foot. Little thing there. And let's take it, okay. You see there, there's two more notches on the inside, just to lock it up on the deck whenever you're turning for your airflow. So you can use this one on bottom airflow or uh, top airflow configuration. It all depends on why you fucking feel like it that day, yeah. Um, now we have the airflow. 
it's a, I mean, it's like a Cyclops airflow type of deal. Um, and it's, the, it's directed downwards. If you use it on the top configuration, it's directly downwards. If you use it the other way around with the bottom configuration, it's, you know, it's going in the upward motion. Not by a lot. I mean, if you see there, the protrusion on those air slot things is not much, but enough to direct the air. Um, here, the deck, it, I mean, he basically, Ambitious picked the best things he liked about other RDAs. So he got the post from the drop. He got the base from the Dead Rabbit SQ, one of my good favorite RDAs, the SQ. Um, it has a Durling insert on the middle that's going to direct the, the juice flow whenever you're squonking. It has that little block. So what it does is whenever you squonk, it'll squonk to the sides, to the little, you know, juice wells in there. Actually, the juice, the juice wells are, they're not that huge, but they're deep. They're pretty deep. So, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Um, a lot of people might have problem with the spacing between the, 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 the post. To me, it's perfect because I don't build juggernauts, tutu knots, um, transgender alien shit on my RDAs. I just do round wire or maximum fuse clapping. So I'm pretty good with the distance between the post on this RDA. Um, what else can I mention about it? Do O-ring on the bottom. I, I like the way, it, I mean, the O-ring tolerance, it's pretty nice. Let me just align it with a notch because you have to align it with a fucking notch. If not, you're gonna fuck it up. Align it with a notch and then press down gently and man yeah tolerance perfect and then once once it's in there all you want to do is twist this shit and you'll see the airflow and it's crunching there was a crunching noise there i fucked it up i think i know i don't know but we'll see right now but you know it's on the notches it's good so we're gonna build it and we're gonna bape on it and i'll tell you all my thoughts on this RDA by Ambitious Bepa, the Aquatus. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're back on top, and uh, we're going to put... I want to start with bottom airflow, because everybody says that bottom airflow is always better than top airflow. To me, it all depends on the RDA. It doesn't really... I mean, yeah, I've seen some very nice, awesome bottom airflow, but I've also seen some very nice, awesome top airflow, so... This is fully open, what, a, what, 0.17 build, 72 watts, with the loopy science, the Aquarius RDA. Let me hit this bit. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Very fucking nice flavor. I don't know if it, because I got... Juice in my mouth, or because of the fucking vapor production on this shit, but damn. Got it fully open. Let me fucking twist it there a little bit there. Oh fuck, I took it out. Well, no, I need to fuck. What the fuck do I do? Oh yeah, yeah, you need to put it on the fucking little notches and the notches so you can twist the shit in the notches. So I'm gonna put the shit in the notches. Be careful with that shit. Put the shit in the notches. The notches are your friends. And then twist the bitch. There you go. Halfway. Notches. Bottom airflow. That's fucking awesome flavor. Can't can't lie about that shit. You know. It has nice flavor. I like the fucking flavor. It's it's nice flavor. Um, now I'm gonna twist it and do it from the top. Halfway, therefore it's only halfway, and let's do it from the top. And I need fucking I never put the fucking cap. You know, first align it with the notches. The fucking notches first, and then and then you can put the fucking top cap on, because if not. You're not going to sit correctly all the way down, and then you're going to be fucking, you know, juice flowing all over the fucking shit and stuff. So, with a top airflow. The top airflow is noisier than the bottom airflow. And I bet you it has to do with my fucking cold positioning. 
is like right in front of fucking airflow. So you need I need to position my coals a little bit higher to reduce that noise. But the flavor is still fucking there. The flavor is still there. I want to say, to me, in my opinion, it's better than the dead rabbit. The 24 millimeter air rabbit. To me. Drop, eh. It's good. It's very close to the drop. I don't think it's drop good, but it's very, very close to the drop. I mean, extremely close to the drop. Um, but it's better than the Red Rabbit. I know for that for sure. Now, the SQ, I mean, you have a single coil, so you cannot compare it to a single coil one. You know, it's a dual coil. The club production is excellent. The aesthetics of it, excellent. Um, the manufacturing, the, the finish on it, every I like everything about the RDA. Everything about the RDA. And I am going to say it's going to be on my top five RDAs for sure. This is the first time, I mean, this is the first time I built it. I haven't messed with it before. I just got it. So I really don't know because I don't have enough experience with it. But as far as it's a first impression, I am impressed. It is a nice fucking RDA. And the innovation on the airflow shit is good. I mean, that's a nice, I mean, it gives you choices. That's about it. Everything about this industry is about choices, having the choices. You can have, you know, I want to do it this time. I want this. I want this this time. I want to squonk now. I want to trip now. You know, I want more airflow, less airflow. I want to squonk this and that. So it's about choices. That's 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 what brings, what, what the community is so great is that you have choices. You have a lot of different fucking choices. And it can accommodate to all different types of vapors. So I like that shit a lot. And this is a plain Jane round build on this bitch. And, I mean, I'm not disappointed. I can just imagine if I throw some fuse claps on this thing, and it's going to be a fucking dream. I mean, Mr. Dark Mod, Mr. Bape, I'm bitching Bape. Good job on this one. I really do like it. I like it. I like the aesthetic. Just the aesthetics alone are fucking nice. I mean, I like the colors. I like the little emblem, the salt technology you put on the front, the rosemary shade on top, fucking awesome. Uh, the name Aquitas on the top. I mean, the deck is nice. Um, I think the deck, the way it is, it will accommodate to a lot of new papers too because they can just put simple round wire builds on it. You don't have to put juggernauts on the bitch to work. Single round wire, you know, simple round wire builds work very good on this one. Nice, nice. Thumbs up on this one, guys, for the price. Yeah, get it. It has to be on your top five for sure. Maybe some people are going to be in their top one, top two, top three. I mean, to me right now, this is on my first impressions, top four right now. It may be top three. I don't know yet. But, you know, nice fucking RDA. Very well designed. I mean, it looks good. It vapes good. You got choices on it. I mean, you know, he did a good job, Mr. Derek did a very good job on this one. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.